What's going on everybody? For those of you who are just tuning in for the first time and don't know who I am, my name is Keith and this behind me is The Fragrant Life. So in this particular video, I have a couple of unboxings and first impressions and I have two things that I think are cool that some people may want to check out if you can find them. So with that being said, stay tuned. And welcome back. So first things first, I want to go ahead and get the unboxings out of the way. I actually scratch that. Let me go ahead and give you what I think is pretty cool that I found the past few days. So the first thing I found, I was in Bell's after I dropped my two older kids back off to their mother yesterday. Um, I did stop by Burlington. I stopped by Marshall's and TJ Maxx, I believe. And on the way out, I stopped by Bell's. And Bell's is one store that not a lot of people talk about. Bell's is the equivalent to Burke's if you have a Burke's outlet. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's almost just like Burlington, but I think their brand of clothing is a little more cheaper. So they do have a fragrance section. And I do believe that one time when I first started my fragrance journey, I found a Tom Ford for men there, but I didn't know what it was at the time and I passed on it. I regret it now that I know what it was, but they didn't really have much by the way of fragrances. They did have some gift sets, but they weren't really much to, you know, go goo goo gaga over. But I did find this and I thought actually it was just some kind of box. But when I picked it up, it was this by Tommy, ba Tommy Bahama. And it's like a cigar box but it has three fragrances in it. And the price on this says $29.99, but that is not what I paid for this. I only paid $15 for this. And I think it's pretty cool, it's pretty neat, especially for like a, a novelty type set. You, put, you could probably set it up somewhere on a dresser or something and leave it open or just have it as, you know, a souvenir or something. But the three fragrances that are in it, these are atomizers. And this first one is Tommy Bahama for him. And it is Eau de Cologne Spray. And yeah, definitely smells of Tommy Bahama quality. Um, I do own some Tommy Bahamas they're on the shelf somewhere up there, but they're not bad fragrances. And I actually like this one. Um, obviously on most Tommy Bahamas, the performance is not gonna be that great, but still some great fragrances to wear spring, summertime. I like them. The next one is Maritime. And I own Maritime also. I have a bottle on my shelf, plus I have another full one that I picked up because I love Maritime so much right here. The one I have on my shelf is actually a partial that was gifted to me some time back. But this is Maritime and I'm not going to spray this one. But if you don't know, Maritime is an aquatic type fragrance. It smells very good and I like it and it is definitely worth a purchase if you can find it within that maybe 15 20 dollar range i wouldn't really pay what they are offering it up as in like belks or ulta or something like that because you're gonna pay like you know 50 60 bucks for it and i don't think it's worth that much but it is a nice fragrance to get for like 20 25 maybe 30 bucks so that's maritime and the last one is actually one i haven't heard of this is Maritime Deep, and I was interested in this one, so I sprayed it on myself last night to test it. Definitely not what you expect 
if you've smelled the original maritime this one is more like an aquatic this one to me smells more i don't know the notes but it's more like a woody kind of it's fresh I don't, it's kind of hard to explain without knowing the notes um but all in all i do think that this is a nice little you know souvenir trinket gift set um if you want to buy something like this and gift it to somebody for christmas or um you know just have it for yourself which is why i have it i just like it you know it's a good little like nice little souvenir um uh, to have in the collection so that's that tommy bahama cigar club is the name of the box if you ever see this box and shopping around i've seen these popping up a lot lately um it's a two-piece set and if you are a fan of hugo boss and boss bottle then you'll definitely want to pick this up and also if you're a fan of boss bottle tonic um they have this two-piece set and it has boss bottle or hugo boss number six as people like to call it and tonic now, I did get Tonic for a um, Instagrammer who follows me. He has a channel also, um, Juicy Fuego, and he wanted Boss Bottle Tonic. I was walking, watching one of his videos and he mentioned it. And being that he was so gracious enough, and I know this isn't equivalent to what he sent me. He was the one who actually sent me the Platinum Ego East, but he mentioned something about wanting to try it out and I told him, hey, don't worry about it. I'll pick it up for you. I got you. So I sent it to him and then right after that, these started popping up. Now, I'm obviously not gonna open this because I may just post this on Macari because I have a big bottle of Boss Bottle and the tonic, it smells okay. It just, the performance is lacking and I don't really care for it. So this one actually was 39.99 if you can see it i'm sorry if y'all can't but that's what this one cost and i don't think this is a bad price for 230 ml bottles you're paying 40 bucks so i it's like what 20 dollars a piece and that's a lot less than what you probably gonna pay for a bottle of this single bottle of this in the rack store so go figure now on to the unboxing and or unpackaging so the first one is from Dwayne Brattendorf jr aka db and his channel is called behind the nonsense and he has his fragrance line and he was gracious enough to send me some samples from his line and I'm gonna be a man about it even though me and him don't see eye to eye we don't get along we're not friends or anything like that I did tell him that if he was man enough to send them to me I'd be man enough to review them I didn't do the review when I said I was gonna do it in which I never gave a time frame but I did do the video I just never uploaded it because it had a lot of extra crap in it that really people didn't know have to know anything about but I'm doing it here, my first impression, and here we go. So, DB's Sensations, and this is his lotion, and this is White Amber Lotion. And I did tell him when we talked that the lotion I didn't get much of the white amber in the lotion. Um, he said that a lot of people don't like it loud. Some people like it light. And I'm one of the ones, if I'm going to put on lotion and it's already scented, I want to be able to smell the scent that's in it. But it is what it is. Now, the lotion is okay. I haven't tried the lotion on my skin. Um, but it's not i can tell it's not strong enough for me without even having to put it on i i really don't even pick up the scent that's in it it just smells like lotion to me to be honest um 
but that's just my nose. So that's his scented lotion. Now the beard oil, I love the scent of this beard oil. Now, I think it's infused with Aventus. And I'm not sure if that's another bottle here, maybe Mont Blanc Explorer or something. I'm not sure. Um, this beard oil, I let my girl smell it the other night and I should have recorded it, but she didn't care for it because I told her that it's an oil and not a, uh, not a cologne. And it did have a weird vibe to it, to be honest. But after it dried down, it turned out pretty decent. Now I'm not the hugest fan of of Aventus. I will say I will say that it does have like a weird vibe to it. But like I said, when it dried down, it turned pretty good. I let it. Uh, I sprayed it on a piece of paper the the night I let her smell it, and I let it dry down a little later and let her smell it. She still didn't care for it. Me, on the other hand, it smelled pretty damn good if you ask me. The uh, properties of it, as far as like, does it work for my beard? I don't know, cause I haven't used it. I'm actually in the middle of using a product that I picked up from TJ Maxx and I don't wanna break that cycle. So as soon as I can get a chance to test this out, I will do it. And then next up, this is his Aventus. Now I'm gonna tell you off the bat, this particular Aventus right here, I did not care for. To me, it smelled, and I told my girl and I told Trey about it the other night when we was I mentioned it to him. Um, to me, this Aventus smells like the other clones that you can get, like Insurrection Pure 2, um, I forgot it was a few others that I had that it kind of smells like a vintage but it has almost like a cheap vibe to it and I didn't really care for the Aventus at all now maybe if I let this sit for some time it, it will possibly get better but to me it just smells like any other clone like any other cheaper version of a clone like Insurrection Pure 2 or something like that. Uh, La Venture, something like that. So, but that's just my opinion. And last but not least, this is White Amber. This is his cologne. And I ab absolutely like this one. Now, if I would have kept that first video, my reaction to this one was priceless because I sprayed it on a napkin and as I was talking, it's so heavily potent like I think it's like 50% uh, oil concentration and as I was talking a whiff of it hit me in the nose and in the video I was like whoa I absolutely love his white amber this is fantastic now from what I have right here this is probably the only one I would recommend somebody picking up is White Amber. I haven't tested anything else that he has. So if you're interested in White Amber, this is a sweet fragrance. It's not overly sweet. It's not like Baccarat Rouge 540 type sweet, but it smells fantastic. And if you're into heavily concentrated fragrances, then definitely check this one out. So that's that for db's sensations next up this is a package i've been waiting on i made a trade with somebody and i can't remember what it was i sent him but he sent me and you all probably have heard of this company um before and it feels like i have a little bit of leakage because it is oily so it did leak this is Zephyr by Sammy Andreas and 
it's actually kind of hard to read because I think it has a note breakdown on the back. I can read saffron, rose, oud, amber, jasmine, sage, and I can't read the first one. What does that first one say? I can't read it. It's kind of faded off a little bit. But just from what I'm smelling on my hand, I have something from a company that has this kind of DNA. I'm not sure which one it was. It, it probably, it smells so familiar. But I can tell you this smells, to me it smells fantastic. I love this. And I think I'm gonna wear this one tonight. Definitely do not need seven sprays like I usually spray on, maybe two sprays of this, cause this is very potent. I can smell it as soon as the box opened. That smells so good to me. I like that. So this is Zephyr by Sammy Andreas. Okay, that's what's up. And last but not least, the coup de gras. You all know what that symbol is. I've been sitting on this because everybody and their great grandmother has been reviewing these or doing their first impressions. And I don't like to be a bandwagon jumper and be on the hype train with everybody else. I like to be the one while everybody else is passing by on the train. I'm the one on that, remembering the cartoons, the one, that little thing you have to pump up and down to make the little cart thing go. When everybody else has shot past and gone, I'm the one in the back on the rail car pumping. So I'm coming up in the rear. Pause. So the two latest fragrances from George Zaharoff. This is standard card with a little note on the back. That's what's up. Thank you, George. And these are his two fragrances. Let's get into them. And say what you will about the man, the myth, the legend, George Zaharoff. George definitely did not have to send any of us these bottles. He can easily, easily buy a whole bunch of these and send out some of these for people to sample his fragrances, but he chose to send out his first one in the big bottle. And now he's sending out these 60 mLs. And I think marketing for this is superb. He has Fragcom do it for him. Makes sense. He don't have to pay for advertising. He doesn't have to pay people to shoot a video. None of that good stuff. He has us, Fragcom. So shout out to George Zaharoff. Now the first one I'm gonna sniff here is Signature. And this is the box Signature Noir to be exact. Very nice presentation, I like that. Another note inside the box, sure thing. Same bottle style, just a different color juice. The cap is definitely different. The first cap was plastic, this one is metal. Has a little weight to it. Same kind of bottle, it's just a smaller size. Juice color, I like that purple. It almost kind of reminds me of something else I have. Juice color. Although this juice color is, I think, a little darker. This is Darij by Rasasi. It's about the same. I think Darij may be a slightly shade darker, but some good juice. All right, so, being that I don't want to spray myself with these fragrances, because I'm going to wear that Zephyr, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this tissue. This is Signature Noir. I've been hearing a lot of good things about these fragrances.
And I'm hoping that people aren't just saying good things about the fragrance just because it's George and he's nice enough to send these out to people free of charge. Um, you can still be transparent and say what you feel about a fragrance. I'm not saying sit on here and trash it or talk greasy about it, but if you like it, you like it, say you like it. If you don't like it or you don't like something about it, just say that. You don't have to go in there and say it's garbage or it's trash, he needs to do this and do that. They're like That's ridiculous. Now this one, Signature Noir, definitely has the original, it has the DNA of the original. And if I pull this out. I hope I don't knock all this stuff over like that. Okay. So, the juice color looks almost the same also. Huh. But anyway. Yeah, I'm picking up almost the same DNA from the original signature pour on. But this one seems to be slightly a little bit more sweeter. But I still like it just because it has the DNA of the original. Um, it is slightly different now. I'm not sure about the dry down because I just sprayed it. So I'll come back to this. I'll leave this sitting out to dry um, while I'm at work and see what happens but right now i'm digging it still um i love the original some people didn't like it they say it was too strong it was this and that and i think you have to be in most cases a real man to wear a fragrance like this um you can't be half-assing or you know you have to be like that power guy like vince mcmahon or something like that that walk around with his chest out with that with that walk he be doing and you know, you have to be like that, a boss, to wear something like this. So, um, with that being said, not a bad smelling fragrance. Does have the DNA of the original. Um, I can't wait to see what the dry down turns into, but I like that so far. All right, so next up. We have Signature. Royale, same kind of box, just a different color. 60 ml bottle. Now this one is to me a little more classier. It's gold, it has that, that liquor color, juice inside, gold cap. This metal. Let's see. Let's get this on paper because I actually got to go to UPS and ship off two packages. I am selling fragrances on Macari. So if anybody's interested, find me on Macari. I have some things on there for sale. Um, every time I sell something, I've made like, I want to say six or seven, maybe eight sales so far within the past few days. So. If you're looking for something, I don't have like niche quality fragrances on there. It's gonna be a bunch of, you know, stuff like Love and Love, Love is Love by Dolce and Gabbana, uh, Kenneth Cole Reaction, Eternity, EDP, stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. As much as I love the original signature pour on and being that this one has the almost the same kind of DNA as the original <laughs> signature Royale is the absolute one for me. I love this juice. It's like a sweet undertone of something. That is fantastic. And I just changed my mind about what I'm wearing tonight to work. As much as I like that Zephyr, I am wearing Signature Royale tonight. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna spray it on right now. My Mr. Seven spray. I am good. George, this one signature Royale for me is the one. This, I love sweet fragrances. The other two are semi-sweet, but more on the sophisticated side. This one is a little more playful to me. I love sweet fragrances. I love gourmands. This is not a gourmand, but oh, that smells good. I'm not, it, there's something sweet in this. I don't know what it is. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. All right, y'all. This video is already 25 going on 26 minutes, and I got to get out of here. So, shout out to first off, Dwayne Brightendorf Jr., aka DB, for his sensations package. Shout out to Jerry Word or Ward. Word, I'm assuming, W-O-R-D, which spells word, but you know, somebody could play off of it different for the trade for Zephyr. And I will do a video about this separately also, just in case somebody's interested in this one, because if you're into oud smelling fragrances, this is the way to go. And last but not least, shout out to George Zaharoff, for a job well done, especially on Signature Royale. I'm loving this fragrance. Signature Noir. And don't forget about the OG Signature Pour On. I am out of here, y'all. Here is, I'm just gonna hold these up since they right here, to smelling great. Peace. Remember to stay safe, y'all.